All right. Hello! Welcome back, everybody. I'm really sorry about the delay. It's just going to be an issue for all of today. Well, my ISP sucks. Um, mental bars. Uh, we do not have helix mutations at this time. This is a test build. You are correct. Um, and we're doing some meme uh, Caldaria stuff. Uh, so next up is going to be Sentinel. Do we want to do a skill damage build on Kali this time? <laughs> I think that might be fun. Let's go ahead and turn on our browser. Um, or that shield build that we were talking about doing. Did Chronicle live? Peepo said. Uh, he did indeed live. We did make it to the end. Uh, so we were talking about doing, uh, I think Starkweather's Oscillator, Modernista, and... One of these, I believe. Oh, this this is just a worse version of the the Starkweather's Oscillator. It does do skill damage and shield recharge. Let me um let's put on the Modernista really quick. And Starkweather's Oscillator. So this one is Shield, Recharge, and Skill Damage. This is cooldown time, which is pointless. Um, yeah, the start with it's Recoil and Recharge Delay. This is definitely a Shield build. It's it's gonna be interesting. This is gonna be fun. I think that that one may be an, a, a good third option here. Um, we may stop and restart the stream after every match just so that we have, uh, that we can refresh everything. And I'll do it, like, after I'm looking at gear. But I think... This is the one you were talking about. This one I think is really pointless, honestly, so I didn't realize this was this effect. So I talked about this one way at the beginning of the stream this morning. Um, your shield has a chance to begin recharging after it breaks. Damage breaks your shield. Most stuff and taking damage stops your shield recharge. So... Let's say this was like a 100% chance to immediately begin recharging once broken. The best it could do is that once they stop shooting at you, which if they just don't stop shooting at you, you will still never get your shields back until you get a little bit of shield. <coughs> um, but if they- this one is just bad because it only gets worse unless, the, like, unless it's 100%, and if it's 100% it's actually really valuable. Um, because it would just start recharging after they, uh, after they break it, whenever they stop shooting at you. But with this 40% chance to begin recharging once broken, if, if whatever is doing damage that broke your shield is still doing damage to you, it has to roll again for another chance to recharge. And it's just more likely that you're just not going to get any benefit out of it at all. Um, however, I am all up for let's run it. Let's try it out. Um, just to see, because it may, it may operate differently than how the text actually says. Um, so I am curious about that. And the, because we're running this other shield stuff, because we're running the Starkweather's Oscillator, that's already going to be charging our shield. And with the Modernista, with reflecting bullets and stuff, it's going to be interesting. I think this would be a really fun build to run on a D&D, honestly. I feel like, I feel like this would be really nice for D&D. She doesn't get to use Recoil, so it's pointless for her there, but that effect... 
Um, the Modernista isn't necessarily bad, because that adds max shield strength. And then for the Intermittent Angel, just possibly getting your shield back might be okay too, on top of doing damage to stuff. Um, especially depending on what this testing turns out. Um, yeah. I think this is going to be interesting. Let's let's turn off the browser. Let's go back to game. Let's launch into Sentinel. Uh, let me make sure I have everything still selected. Yeah, because we did not did not Every lose our. Every of Eldred hears the stories about the old <coughs> Sentinel, an artifact slash doomsday weapon that's been on Echinar for like at least a thousand years, maybe zillions. Who knows? Anyway. see the sentinel dead than in his hands so guess what hilarious bummer of a job we get to do today if you guessed kill my childhood hero you sir are correct and i see somebody joined us in the discord but they are muted so we get oh i did a thing bad oh only one of our gear is free this time that's a that's another bug from this build is so first off, the amount of that the shards that everything costs is all the baseline fourteen seventy, no matter what the gear it is. Apparently, those prices were adjusted on the server, um, and then sometimes even with the same gear in different levels, we've had them be like we, they give us a shard. You can see we have one shard now. Um, we're going back to regular mutations now. I'm gonna pause for a second. Let's go check. I have not been in Discord. I do need to check work as well. No work. Okay, cool. Hello, robot Nick. You have been here for a while. I assume you are watching the stream. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's get back in game. They're airlifting units in. Look, it's an even smaller, <laughs> tiny, like mini this capital ship. Well, this one's fun. That actually looks like a capital ship. So what we learned from this is that Caldarius is only a little bit weaker than the Sentinel individually. It was beautiful. But all those squares. The square debris. Alright, so we're no longer strapped to doing melee Caldarius. Oh my. It was honestly really nice. I'm gonna just be meleeing now so much because I'm gonna still be in that mindset. These are. I always forget how loud these are. No longer gonna be bouncing back from every one of those. And we'll have life still on our melee too, so we can actually heal ourselves. That shield's gotta go before we can get you inside. The power source has to be somewhere nearby. Take a look around. This is so beautiful. It's like a mini sun. It's like an amber sun. Hey, there's a nice ship over there spawning people in. Uh <coughs> This map sucked because uh people again in pubs would just run down and spawn every enemy in the map, which is what we're about to do, because that's how we've been challenging ourselves on normal mode, because we don't have advanced mode to select from, and we don't have five people to queue up with to increase our challenge. Um, so we have to run around and spawn everything on the map <laughs> to make sure that everything is going to be attacking us as much as possible. Alright, these have spawned in. There's no spawns on this side for some reason, even though it's matching the other side. We just have one more spawn to activate up top here. Guys up by this stuff. Looks like it's working. Yep, it's working. Alright, cool. And... Let's play ball. Yeah, we didn't get the attack speed boost from that helix because we took the other helix last time. It was- that was a choice, man. Yeah, this attack speed boost was better than the Valve Zealous Fury and uh, the other one that we had chosen. 
We do not have um, life steal until like level five or something, so it's gonna be a second. Oh no, it's right here, level three. There you go. Level three gives us life steal. That's all the sustain we need for this level. That one goes. Oh well, I guess we'll get the side ones done first. It is weird how some of these guys will aggro and pull to the other area. I was not paying attention. I was right clicking again. That was again. That was just my brain saying right click is the button to attack, not that's melee, not ranged. I'm hitting one instead of Q, y'all. It is nice to have the lifesteal as an option. Alright, we gotta go up top and get the uh, charge up there. I, I, went, I whipped way too hard. Way too fast, way too early. Uh, we did get these guys, which was nice. We have a really loud grinder. They're cool. I assume that they're generate. They're generate styled thrillers. Is the is the upper one unlocked now? It is. Okay, cool. I don't remember which one unlocks this one. I think it's that side side one off to the left there. Um, Alright, first chest is not until we get to another area. Which mobile is stinky? Oh. Uh, it, uh, if it's delay, that is not Twitch mobile, that is just my ISP doing a bunch of frame drops. Um, which is adding delay to the stream every moment that I am streaming. Uh, which is why we restarted the stream a little bit earlier. Hey, we already got our third piece of gear up, our intermittent angel. So now we're going to be able to see what the effect does. Uh, possibly. Alright, we got two more shards to go poke. Throughout this mission existed, to be honest, once we platted it, you don't think you ever did it again? That's unfortunate. I really enjoy this mission for a lot of reasons. Um, Archive is actually the one that I forget about. When I start reviewing levels, um, Archive is usually the one that I am like, which mission am I missing? It's Archive. Uh, this barrier will be opened up a little bit later because this will be <laughs> a spot where we can jump down into that area if we decide to come back up. Like, if you stay up here, you have another access route, because I think something happens with this elevator that blocks it off for some reason. My right click is still being a little bit weird. It, it has like a dead spot in it. Um, the nice thing is that there are a bunch of shards at the beginning of this level, so like everyone usually has all their legendaries up before we leave this first area. But when you have five people, it's better to just stay up there, kill the first wave of stuff, and then everybody moves as a group to each spawn location. I don't think I've ever bought this thumper turret. Technically they can be multiple turrets. Okay, let's go down. Not a good sign. 
Take a crit. Uh, I hit the pad for the um, buildable. It cancelled my Q. And the edge of the elevator cancelled my Q as well. We're taking our jumpy. You can stay up here, there's not really any benefit to it. Um, I do like going into this little high spot right here though. That I missed. I completely jumped over it. I like being up there to start with. Especially if you're playing like Marquee or something with your friends. You can stay up there kind of out of danger and poke stuff. Sometimes these guys do get stuck up in those spawners, and if you see them on the map, you can just shoot into the black void. They will die if you hit them. Oh, I got stuck on that. I'm getting stuck on everything on this match. Completely missed. Instant death spikes killing your hardcore runs here. Feel strong, man. Yeah, hardcore runs on this map. Um, getting plat on this with hard on the hardcore mode is actually really obnoxious with the the insta kill traps. You want to come down, buddy, or you gotta stay up there? If you were a Kelvin, I feel bad if they do get stuck up there because you have no means, to my knowledge. Should be one more. It did not spawn. Maybe only with more people. What am I getting stuck on? Um, there's just a couple of shards in this room, not much else, if you- I don't know what other purpose this serves. It technically- Technically you can jump up here if you have a movement skill character, but there's no point. So these golems are interesting, all the Ostanti golems. Um, they all have damage resistance, you can see this only does 32. Um, anywhere except their core, which always gets a crit, so you can't do normal damage on them. 12, yeah, okay, his, his chest has... Okay, you can't do normal damage on them until you break their core open. Then you apparently do normal damage on them. I did not realize that. I thought it was just always reduced. Um, yeah, take it. It's just one of those choices that doesn't mean a whole lot. Let's grab some more shards. For no reason. You like shards here? And all the chest locations in this map are set. They are not random like they are in other... Other levels. That's a weird metaphor, but you get the idea. I'm betting you've got a fight ahead of you. Um, many people have died here.
trying to uh, walk in and melee those guys, and then they knock them. They knock you back into the spikes. They do a lot of damage. They're not insta kill, but they are a lot of damage. So they will kill you very quickly if you take more than one tick of damage from them. Can't hit his head. Baby. I was so tempted to Q there, y'all. The resistance it's taking to not not hit <laughs> so many buttons. I probably should have moved in to melee. Um, but they will knock you back and it's no fun. You have to make sure you have these walls to your back so that if they do knock you back, you get knocked into this and not into the grinders. Uh, the first treasure room is here. There's our first chest. And we can get this one now. Um, I love the puzzle aspect of this. This one is an insta-kill. It does 10,000 damage to my knowledge. So technically a Kelvin can survive it, but if he's got enough HP built up. Here's the first room. Look at this dead end of a, of a building. It looks like that is the... Oh, there is a dead... There is a wall there, by the way. Um, but there's the end of the hallway. Um, I wish these were deeper. I would love to go into these deeper water puddles. Have, like, a slow applied to you because you're in the deep water. All these babies, there's so many of them. Enemies do die after a certain time of not moving, but that was a hotfix, so I'm not sure if it'll be on the mod. Uh, I actually, so interesting thing, right? Um, you know, the like renegade would sometimes have an enemy that didn't aggro, uh, and so they did that hotfix where they do they despawn because they'd be up in their spawn locations where you can't get them. I have not had those problems on the mod. Um, so, first off, that seems to be something that the server broke, specifically. Like Boulderbot. I'm doing the thing again. I'm doing the melee. Um, but I would not be surprised if that is... Because that was such an early hotfix, I'm sure it was probably baked into the game. But there's enough stuff that, weirdly enough, was not baked into the game that was all server-side, so... It could technically feasibly not be there. I just, I have not been able to test it because none of the AI bots have gotten stuck. Oh, it canceled because it hit the roof. Hang on. There we go. I wish level 2 was for uh, all skill uses and not just after the Q. I think that that would actually be a really useful upgrade for Calarius. Um, this one right here. I wish it was activating any skill increases energy blade attack speed because if you ult in, you want to have. I mean, technically, you could ult then Q then attack, but like, I, I think that would be like more viable. Make help make uh, melee Kaldi more viable if you do it after any skill. Because if you also do it after blind, imagine follow up with that. Um. Yeah. I did not mean to take that, but that's fine. Oh wait, no, yeah, we do want that, because then we can do stuff like this. 
I forget. We don't care about the damage from it. We want the extra distance. Thank you for the follow, Robot Nick. I completely did not even hear the follow. Did the follow go off? Did y'all see it? I did not hear it. I did not hear Ambra. Uh, if it did not go off, let me know. I will play a follow for you because it's worth it's worth seeing. Um, um, I can definitely do that. Uh, it should be canon lore that Rendain succeeded and killed the universe and that all is left is Kelvin because he's Kelvin. <laughs> what about Boulder? Boulder's unkillable! He'd just be floating in the void. Probably along with Isaac, because Isaac wants to die, but who, for real, he's not gonna actually get it. I did- oh, I did a little bit on bad, but it's okay. You can cut across there. Um, you can see you have to time it properly. They are on different timers, like, uh, different delays. So they are- oh, this is fun. All these, look at all these boys! I don't remember it spawning this many on one person difficulty. I always like to come down here for the extra spawns, for the extra XP. Um, I don't remember there being that many. That was really fun. Because you're in tight corners. Uh, that's, yeah, tight quarters, that's really fun. Yeah, so you can, you can cut it through there. Um, when you were doing, uh... Co-op, though, um, the delay from the server, if you were playing with people from around the world, could be pretty bad, and I would normally go, like, I would just run into the, uh, the stuff, so, like, when this pusher goes, I would run into it until it lets me pass. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir, do you really want to be over there? One of the minions got popped downstairs. He's downstairs now, too. Too bad I have no... I can't just throw, like, a grenade down there. Hey, one of them went off. Hey, I actually can hit him. Alright, alright, give me a second. Let this go. Then go here. So I know I'm not gonna get knocked off. Not get him. He's right there, though. I think if I go through here and it progresses, I think it actually turns them off. Check. Nope, they're still going. It might be um, after you complete this section. Melka got stuck. That was from that was from ages ago. Remember that was in the. I think that would hit him. Yeah, he should die now. Cool. We got him. We didn't have to go down there. When will Battleborn 3 come out? What about Battleborn 2? When is Battleborn 2 coming out? Is this Battleborn 2? Is that what we're doing? After the Battleborn dating sim. That's true. That's true. We have to have the Battleborn dating sim before we can get the uh, sequel sequel. Because that will be the sequel. Alright. Um, wow, that actually does move you forward. There's no roof here. There actually a roof here? Hang on. Apparently there's a roof here. It must be like right there. Interesting. Yeah, imagine if you could right-click after that ult. Like, while your Q's on cooldown. I think that would be the only way to make Kaldi melee viable, would be that level 2 change. That yeah, cancelled. That sucks. Um, because his cooldowns in PvP are gonna be long enough that you're not gonna be able to get the value out of it. 
And the fact that you have to use that one specific skill to activate it, and normally you want that for your, your, you know, escape, along with possibly your ult, like having that that ability to just pick which one you're going to be using to melee with would be really useful. Did I not get more health orbs out of that? We just got a bunch of scorbs and no health orbs. Also called orbs. <laughs> I've never shortened that one before, but I just thought of it and I was like, oh no. Here's some health. You're, you're too bad at math to understand that. Battleborn 2 to the sequel sequel. Oh, uh, it worked! You can taunt on the launch pad and it does launch you! Oh, that's great. I need to do that on the next one as well. That's actually fantastic. I've never done that before. Y'all are sending messages faster than I can keep up while I'm fighting. I actually have to pay attention to where the enemy crit spots are and stuff. After this, I'll read. Wait, there's more. Did they just spawn? Oh yeah, it spawns this. Okay. It's fine. They're just babies. We gotta level up out of it. Like I normally I'd take Q for PvP. Um I think we actually want to take F in PvE. Like honestly, the radius isn't that much smaller. And the added like damage is just kinda like nice, I guess. I'm assuming it also applies to the bleed. Honestly don't know if Modern Gearbox would be able to make a good sweep of the Battleborn. I mean, it's, it's basically the same gearbox as previously. The only stuff that they've released is Borderlands 3 and Wonderlands. That's literally it. Um, I mean, you could argue that they were never the right ones to make it, but... If you said they weren't the right ones to make the game, I'd agree with you. They definitely are the people that, to, write, to make the setting. Like, that's the one thing that they do well is the setting. Did I... I forgot we have another door to go through. I'm just sitting here waiting to go to the boss not paying attention. Um, and I think that's what they really did well with this game was the setting and these like specific characters with the very gearbox coded, um, here's another, here's our second chest here. Gearbox coded like everything's terrible but uh, we're all, oh I think I can actually jump on top of these with Caldarius but Would y'all like to come out of your hidey holes and get murdered by the by the the pounders? I think that's technically what these are called. Like if you get killed by it, it says pounder. Okay. Just gonna run around in a circle for a second. The easiest way to not die. I really, I really do kind of like that little bit of extra damage with that si slightly smaller radius. It's not a lot, but it might be nice. I wouldn't mind running it in PvP just to try it out and see. Like in PvP, I feel like I normally would take the radius just because you want it for the blind, right? But yeah. Uh, don't forget the new arena shooter called Overborn, or was it Battle Watch? Uh, it was Battle Watch, um, and it was a collaboration with uh, Yokai Watch. Um, so the Battleborn are now the Yokai. Um, yeah, they're the they're the ones that you actually take into battle. 
um, and then it's MOBA-esque. Like, it's a half hero shooter, half MOBA, um, one lane again so everyone's in the same lane, but it's also 10v10. Um, because, yeah. Uh, it spawns one set when you fall off one side and another set when you fall the other because you bounce, you spawn both sets. Oh! I didn't know that. That makes me really happy. Silenced me. I'm gonna silence him permanently. Let's get out from under here so we can ult. Sir! So many babies. That added distance sent me flying. Wanna get rid of the baby? The big boy is more of an issue. There's that added damage. It actually does some damage to the evolved roll now, which is really nice. Normally I'd go up top and bring these big guys down because they're poking at us the whole time. Um, and the little guys will actually uh, jump up to meet us up there. Because they are the, the bigger threat just sitting there. But yeah. I'm gonna let them chill over there. We're gonna go get our second uh, chest. I think. Yeah, we can get our other. Sorry, that was the third chest. We can go get the second chest, though. Make sure I get through the death, the death pusher. There are other ways you can get to it. Oh, I didn't make it in time. I just wasted more time. I'm gonna try the. Not that. Wait. Am I higher up? Oh, uh, it counted as a death. Okay. Here. Oh, it's crushing weight. And it only did 6,800. Do I have damage resist on or something? I don't think we do, right? I don't know anything that would give me damage resist. Maybe this one in particular. Maybe they only do 6,800 and then the server was modifying them to 10,000? That's interesting. There's our third death of a run. Very fun, very fun. It put us here, which is fine. Um, I was gonna say, one of the ways that you can get to the second one is through here. If you do, I believe, a jump on here, and then... I can't, I can't do the, the high enough jump. When I get caught on the edge like that, I think that's technically the killing edge. Uh, not quite. Yeah, I'm gonna go the normal way, which is to take the path to the third chest. I should probably kill this guy now while we're here. And I could uh, I could technically use my ult to get up there. Drop down to your knees, sir. Sir, do you not feel me shooting your feet? calling me weak. Alright, I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do the right thing. Oh, you can't go this way. You have to actually go the other way. Uh, I think it's on the way back, actually. That's the proper way to do it. Oops. So technically, this is the second chest. That's the third chest. Okay. We shall do it properly then. Also a gotcha. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the delay is getting real again. I can tell. Also welcome toxic cog nath hugs. If I'm reading that correctly, I have a UI in the way. And there is a box behind the waterfall. Nars gave us. Respawn. Yeah, they sound really scary. About as scary as the 
scary as Garblanthic's Ur, the lord of all sentinels, who is fictional and thus not scary. Ooh, another gate. Maybe there's a cursed amulet or something behind it. Hold tight. I'll see about opening it with uh, Do try not to be, you know, impaled by stuff in the meantime. All right, activate. I am not gonna leave this platform for convenience sake. We have ranged attacks, we're going to use them. Even though, well actually, no I will. It will be actually easier as Caldarius to get in range because of the fall off damage. can do a little hop like this if you don't have if you have a character that just does single jumps uh, I don't know if the ceiling is high enough here it wasn't five feet to the side but it was there. Ten. We aren't even to the second boss yet. Uh, let's do the F. We haven't done the F yet. We still have not done the F. I still don't know that the F is any good since they got rid of the stun on it, but we're gonna try it out. Let's see. Alright, are we clear yet? Do you want to send a Beastmaster after me? Yes, you do. Actually, that's not a Beastmaster. Uh, he got hit by the Crusher. That's actually hilarious! I didn't know he could die to that. I've never had that happen. That's really funny, actually. Okay, here's a Beastmaster. And I think it technically counted. I think the door was open. Yeah, went it through the Beastmaster. Oh, that's really, really funny. Alright, give me the boss. Me guardian arc. I love the boss music for all of all of the Sentinel bosses are great. They all have great music. Lifesteal on this is completely viable for solo, like single player, easy mode. And especially without gear, like he's totally usable. Can your chest open up for me, please? Why is this taking so long? Am I not doing enough direct Derekos? My right click again was not working. Hello, sir. Nice purple for me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we will be taunting off of your launch pad in a minute after we open up this box for some help. They switched from sandals to wor wor working shoes. They're smart. Alright. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, come on. All right, head back to the That's great. Chamber. That was timed pretty well. Alright, this is where you get the other chest. Because it's it's down here, isn't it? I can't remember. Is it a side gate? I can't remember. How do we... How do we I think there is a, a side entrance, right? Hang on. Alright. I gotta reorient myself. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta get to the other side. So, well, you heard it. do a good jump. Chamber. Hmm. 
Oof. Okay. We just barely got on that. The game was freaking out. Get our shard. Beautiful, beautiful. And now we need to head back. I'm gonna do so on top. It's slightly safer. Also, the directions are lined up well, so we can actually do this. Then this is open. So we broke the shard. Beautiful. Press number three. We're already level 10, so we can't do anything for us. Alright, now we head back. Battleborn was the first time Jim Fronda voiced Claptrap, wasn't it? Because the Isaac skin? Uh, technically, he didn't re-record those lines. They just added a filter to Isaac for the Claptrap skin. Um, I think it was technically a test to see, like, how it would work for Borderlands 3. Um, but yeah, yeah. The Claptrap skin is just a filter on top of, uh, Isaac. Isaac's voice lines that they already had. Look at that beautiful throne that the Sentinel sits on. It's another mini sun, just like uh, Ambrose. The old Sentinel. So this is Milka's childhood hero. The man, the myth, the legend. He drops scorbs everywhere. He throws rocks at us. Very high tech. He spawns uh, bliss bugs. Also very high tech. And also other Astanti golems. Eroded guardians. I'm ignoring the golems, they are like taking chip damage from everything else I'm doing and it's enough. I'm not worried about it. When I ult or like do other stuff. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, just run away. Run away. We are taking our sweet time to open up his chest, which would make this way faster. The slow applied? I should probably melee you more, sir. Let me get my health back. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. Don't mind me. Oh, his chest is open now. We can actually get some crits. That would get us our health back. There we go. That's actually helpful. Okay, now he's doing his thing. Let's ult just to get up in the air. I'm gonna ignore him for a second while he does that. Uh, you know what? We should do the same thing we did with the other bosses. Let him regen. Uh, yeah, you know it's just a filter, but it's still a funny thing to think about. The first new recording he did for Claptrap was for a VR thing. I did not know that. Probably forgot it at some point. There is, like, an invisible wall there to the right, so I can't get up there. Oh, you can. He does just get a little bit of health back. He doesn't get everything back. So if you want to just let him sit there, and they, the platforms don't leave either, you can just let him do that. If you don't want the shards and you don't want to do that, that's fun. All this reduced damage, doing like nothing. I don't want to end up jumping off the ledge, so I'm trying to be really conservative about going over there. Did I hit the spike? I don't know. I think I hit the spike instead of him. That's kind of depressing.
The reduced damage is really killing my uh, lifesteal here. Old Sentinel. Look, here's his idle animation if you've never seen it. Look at that beautiful, like, spear thingy. He has the fun golem arm that's covered in trash. Dirt and rocks. The Eldred are a fun people. And he did the Lilith DLC for Borderlands 2. That's right. That did come out before Borderlands 3 as like a teaser. I imagine his spears are probably what's doing the most damage to me. If I leave all these bliss bugs, just do some strafe tactics on this boy. Yeah, if I actually avoid him, we can avoid taking damage. And then we don't need to lifesteal. Alright, his chest is exposed. I'm surprised he hasn't pushed to his next regen yet. Okay, there he goes. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna let him regen. I kind of like that these platforms stick around. I think that they changed that in the thing, though. That was because he kept getting stuck. But even if you kill the shards, I think they don't leave. I didn't see you spawn, sir. Excuse me. Head was special. Very different. So, he was at like a quarter or a fifth health. I want to say he was like at a fifth. It was pretty low. We're gonna see how much he regens here. Gotta go up there before his shield drops. He's gotta spawn all his guys. I'm gonna go up on your throne, sir. How do you like this? I make I mock your throne, sir. I am actually the king of the sentinels, not you. Yeah, I think he does a lot of damage in melee if you let him, and if you just stand there and take it. He's using sand attack on me. Pocket sand. I'm gone. Yeah, if you stay away from him, he's not that bad, honestly. In single player. moving projectile of death. This is the most boring fight if you just stay away from him. God. Stay here and poke his chest. With this damage reduction. I can probably shoot his rocks out of the air, much like the, uh, yay, alright. The fact you have to get him back down to the, the health he had previously kind of sucks. To stay in melee range for a second to murder him. Did we get a legendary? We did! Vigilant Power Scouter. Not to be confused with the Vigilant Power Scooter. Alright, also Big Nova, but also blue because it's this map. Blue ally colors. Big Nova. Would you like to let us in, Nova? Uh, here's our score. 19, 250, 27, 84. I died because I fell off the edge of the map. We will be restarting the stream. Uh, to get rid of the delay. But first... 
Next up is Saboteur. It is typoed in here, I noticed. Uh, that is incorrect. That is the wrong order. Should be Experiment next, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure, maybe? Let's check. Maps. E. Yeah, experiment is next. We'll be doing experiment next. We're going to do them in order. Experiment. And we're still be playing Caldarius. Uh, we should be still level 10. And gear. So I didn't really notice a whole lot of... I mean, this kept our shield up, which was nice. Um, it didn't really do anything in terms of, like, with that fight. Like, not having any regen was kind of sucky. I really did enjoy Vin's Quiver. Let's go back to... Browser? Yeah. I need to put on... We can use white gear, by the way. We don't have to use legendaries, but they can't be flawed white gear. Um, I only have unflawed white gear and legendaries access right now. We want to go back to something safe. Oh, we should do a skill damage build. We said we were going to do a skill damage build. And experiment is a horde uh, nod nodule defense thing. Let's... We're going to be doing skill damage. Um, we could use this, right? We can use Kaldi's Legendary. Let's start with that. Let's start with Kaldi's Legendary, Blade of Transfusion. Uh, that is the sword that Wrath made for Caldarius out of uh, his prison. Apparently it must have been made of metal or whatever they make swords out of. So that is an attack speed gear, so we can't run any other attack speed gear. Let's maybe just skip down to skill damage gear and take a look at skill damage gear here. Uh, we could use the Codex Fragment. We talked about this doubling the skill damage that you get. Um, we talked about doing the Lorian Skill Spike. Just I, We could try that just to see if the bleed gets procced off of it, or if it's the whole thing, or if it's part of it. That would be a fun test. And the others aren't super useful. We could use this if we were just spamming skills. I I kind of want to try out the Lorian skill spike just to see how it procs. Let's do that. And for our third piece of gear... Uh, let's just search for skill damage secondary. We could still use an attack. Uh, we could try this one. We could do Lenore's Lament. Because we could check to see if this counts as uh, non-generate enemies. I think... Yeah, because there's Thrall in Experiment. I think I want to do that one. Yeah, I think that's our best one. So Lenora's Lament is going to be our number three. Stand by for stream restart. To get rid of the lag. Make sure you F5 if you don't see the restart. <laughs> 